Today I will show you how to make sodium carbonate. For this you need sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is baking soda, two test tubes, and optional is some litmus solution, a cork with a hole in it to fit the test tube, or it could be a rubber stopper with a hole in it, a test tube clamp, a glass angle tube, an alcohol burner or any source of heating, some distilled water, and also optional like the litmus solution, a pH indicator. So the first thing to do is to add some sodium hydrogen carbonate to your test tube. Just add a small amount. Adding too much will take too long to decompose the sodium hydrogen carbonate to sodium carbonate upon heating. You can add larger amounts, but it might take some more time to decompose. You want the test tube to be angled like this. Straight forward and a little bit tilted down. Like that. So I have my angled glass tube from the test tube which is going to be heated directing the gas which is going to be produced which is carbon dioxide into some distilled water and some litmus solution. I'm using the litmus solution to indicate if carbonic acid is formed which forms when carbon dioxide dissolves in water. After trying this, I didn't get any result, so I'm assuming not enough carbon dioxide was formed. I didn't see any bubbles of carbon dioxide in the distilled water. So I've lit my alcohol lamp or burner, and what you want to do now is just let it sit there and heat the baking soda, the sodium hydrogen carbonate until you see bubbles and if you don't see bubbles it'll still produce sodium carbonate. I didn't see any bubbles but I still got sodium carbonate. As you can see there's condensed water vapor on the sides of the test tube. Water vapor is a byproduct of sodium hydrogen carbonate decomposing into carbon dioxide, water, and sodium carbonate. So this is my sample of sodium carbonate I've made. And in this test tube, I'm going to place some sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now I'm going to place a little bit of pH indicator. Actually, I have a little bit too much sodium hydrogen carbonate, so I'm going to try to equalize the amount to the sodium carbonate I've made. That's better. Now I'm going to add a red cabbage pH indicator which I made in a previous video. I'm adding it to the baking soda now, the sodium hydrogen carbonate, and you can see it turns blue. When a red cabbage pH indicator is added to something with a pH of 8 to 9, it becomes blue. When a red cabbage pH indicator is added to something with a pH of 10 to 11, it becomes green. And when it's added to something with a pH of 11 to 13, it becomes yellow. These are all basic. As you can see, when I added the pH indicator made out of red cabbage to some sodium carbonate, which I made in this video, it became green, while the sodium hydrogen carbonate became blue. This is because sodium hydrogen carbonate is a weaker base. This indicates that we have made some sodium carbonate. Thanks for watching.